All right, everybody, welcome here to Brookdale TV. Pat Grother with you as always. All alone up here in the booth tonight, we're going to make it just as fun for you as always with the quarterfinals here. First game for the women's Region 19 basketball tournament kicking off. We have number one seed Brookdale. They got up there with the 26 and 2 overall record, staying undefeated 18 and 0 in the region. Facing off against the Lehigh Carbon Community College Cougars, coming in at 8 and 9. And number 24, Hauling in a 6-4 and four record in the Region 19. So you won't be able to uh, see me up in the booth today. We'll have single camera covering the action on the court. As the women's team gets announced here, we see it on the bench already that Samantha Carlson and Lauren Bowler are back and suited up, ready to go, just in time for the tournament. So that's great to see there. Brookdale men's game tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. They will be facing off against Northampton, who beat Lehigh Carbon's men's squad just the other day to get into the second round here. So men's, uh, men's have 12 seeds, women have eight. Little less teams in the region that can make it in, so a little bit fiercer competition here in the women's tournament. But lineup is back to their normal one with Maria Trapp, Samantha Carlson, Lauren Bowler, Paxson Reddington, and Marina Lukianov in the game. So another small crew coming in for uh, a Brookdale opponent. Only have six players on the roster. It looks like all six of them are here. Oh, no, only five. So this is the first time that Brookdale has faced up against the team, at least here in the Collins. Oh, no, never mind. Okay. Yeah, they do have somebody on the on the bench, so squad of six. Bring them out, bring them out. Bring them Lehigh Carmen coming out of the EPAC conference, the Eastern Pennsylvania Athletic Conference. Region 19 combines that and the Garden State as we're tipping off here. Samantha Carlson gets it right over to Lauren Bowler inside to Marina Lukianov looking for some quick points, and there it is, laying it in for an easy two. Immediately there with the full court press is Brookdale, transitioning very well onto defense. Started to drive in, tried to lay it in, but no good. Paxson Reddington all alone on the break. Someone creeping up on her left, but she had a couple extra steps on her, and it's good. So I would say uh, I would agree with the, the tactic here by Coach Bob Dubini immediately coming off with the full court press to, to try to tire out this very shallow bench that, oh, right back down the court again, Paxson Reddington, Reddington. make it a very, very early 6-0 in the first 50 seconds of the game. It's Brickdale coming out to a huge pace right now. Puts up the shot, no good off the backboard, grabbed by Maria Trapp. they keep up this pace, then Cougars are not going to have an easy time trying to stay, uh, not get that fatigued, and immediately a timeout, only a minute and 12 seconds here into the, uh, into the game. So as you can see, some smiles from the players, surprisingly. They kind of, uh, maybe they didn't expect that little punch in the gut that Brookdale gave them to come right out of the gate. Head coach uh, Marge Beam talking them up over there, so. Guys, spring classes, registration is coming up soon. It'll come a lot quicker than you think. Priority registration passes have been starting to go out. I know I got mine just last week. So get the classes you want at the times you want and the locations you want. We have locations all around Monmouth County here. See a counselor and register for spring classes. Also, don't miss out on Brookdale's spring open house. That is Sunday, April 6th. So mark it on your calendars from noon until 3 p.m. right here in the Collins Arena to meet a cavalcade of Brookdale's faculty members and find out which programs are right for you. Your success can start here at Brookdale. Nice steal there by Maria Trapp. Gets it over to Marina Lukianov, who's trying to just grab the ball. Driving towards the basket, finds Trapp inside. Goes to the rim tough and gets fouled. 
Thousand number five, Nina Bats. First personal, first team foul. Track heads to the line for two shots. Christina Bats, sophomore out of Albrightsville, Pennsylvania, draws the foul. On Maria Trapp, makes her first shot. Brookdale up nine to nothing, 18 and a half left here in the first quarter. And she makes her second shot. So, drawing double digits already, just a minute and a half into the game. Brookdale can keep up this pace, and Kickball. it's going to be very, very hard for the Cougars to not get winded. Oh, Marina Luki out there. Nice steal. Marina Looking like a Luke cornerback Luke. on that play. Hawking the ball, went for a nice little pick and laid it in. The Cougars trying to set up a play and a little mis miscommunication there. Ball went off her hands and sailed out of bounds. So it'll be Brookdale ball. 12-0, 18 minutes left here in the first half. Slowing things up just a tiny bit as Brookdale here on this offensive possession. But immediately right inside Marina. to Trap. Trap. Tallest girl on the uh, Cougar squad is 5'10", so with Carlson and Trap in there, it's going to be tough matching up. Fouls on number 11. Reach in foul call there oh, on that's her first. Laura Bowler. first team foul. <laughs> Loki and Hobb trying to grab another steal there. Catch him sleeping. Nice defense there by Samantha Carlson with Paxton Reddington helping out. Hornbuller driving in, finds Luki and Hobb on the key, and it's good. Marina Luki and Hobb. Brookdale up 16 0. 17 minutes, 15 seconds left here. Just under three minutes in. And Brookdale still blanking the Cougars. Kickball. Cougars remain. So we'll stay on this side of the court. Be a little bit of short notice for this game. That's why we have a little bit of a patchwork crew put together, but got the game out so you guys at home can watch it if you couldn't make it to the court. But if you can, make sure you get here. This coming Thursday and Saturday, we'll be having the semifinals and the finals, as well as the sophomore showcase. I believe that will be running in the B-Rec, maybe one of the games in the arena. I haven't seen the official schedule just yet. But we'll be here all day Blues ball. with uh, a lot of announcers coming through, some faces you've seen, some old faces from last season, and some new faces. Some guys trying out a couple of our BTV crew want to give it a shot. So be good. Give us uh, Paxton, give us Reddington, vets up here in the booth of break. Three. Paxton Reddington making a three there. Bring it up to 19 nothing lead for Brookdale. 16 and a half minutes remaining. Swarming defense by Bowler and Reddington. And she looks hurt there on the ground. She's getting up. Reddington right inside for the easy basket. So, so maybe we'll take a injury timeout. No, she's doing good, so we'll play it off. Brookdale 21, and the Cougars yet to reach the board. Just over 16 minutes remaining in the first half. Shot up there, no good, rebounded by Reddington. Driving back down the court fast. Eh, over to Luki Nob, slows it up a bit, almost gets the ball stolen, and Jump possession ball. arrow is on the Cougars' side, so we'll head to the other side of the court. Possession goes to the Cougars. So they did release the brackets and everything, so like I said, Brookdale kind of is the number one seed, facing off against eight seed. Lehigh Carbon Cougars, they will face the winner of number four, Northampton, and number five, Middlesex. Hopefully advance there into the finals where they will face off either against Camden, Harrisburg, Passaic, or Cumberland. 
those four teams playing tonight will determine who will play here for the semifinal on Thursday as Samantha Carlson, Carlson throws up an easy bucket. And Brookdale hopefully hanging up a uh, banner with the Region 19 title in their sights. And then if they make it past that and get the championship, the Nationals are Minnesota, so a little bit of a hike for them. But it'll be well worth it if they can go on there. They are currently ranked, I believe when I saw it, it was fourth. They are ranked, ranked right now fourth in the nation. Behind a couple other teams who have a very similar record. I think one of the teams might have been undefeated. And check in for Brookdale. So Bowler, Carlson, and Reddington check out. Nadia Sanislo, Jasmine Palma, and Megan DeGris check in. Cougars still yet to reach the board. Shot blocked there by Cougars Nadia Sanislo. By Nadia Sanislo. I see number 13, Bridget Thornton taking it in, taking it in stride with a big smile on her face. She's trying to get something going offensively here. Playing a little slow. Here, 10 seconds on the shot clock here. They got to start to make some kind of progression towards the basket. Oh, ball bounced off her foot. Blues ball. Looked like it yeah, hit her last. So we'll go to the other side of the court. Megan DeGruch bringing it up for the Blues. Women still riding this impressive 26-game win streak from dropping the first two. The first one was a close game. They lost the second one. They faced ASA. I'm not sure, you know, where they fall, if they're a Division II rival or, or one of those other teams. I didn't see them in Division III. Um, took a walloping there, but uh, they haven't looked back since, winning 26 straight games. Hoping to make it 27 tonight, and ball goes just off the sails just over the rim there, so. Brookdale Bowl. Fourteen minutes left here. Brookdale 23. And Cougars yet to reach the board. Inside to Nadia Sanislo. Oh, she grabs her own shot there, puts it back up, and it's good. Sanislo. And Cougars, uh, not looking uh, at a very speedy pace here to, to start the, the half. Being down so much, you, you might expect it, but. Oh, chucking up a three there. She falls off the backboard, hit rim. Ah, uh, she had Luki and Av a little bit sooner than that window closed pretty rapidly. DeGrush, a little touch shot in there, but Trap grabs the shot and puts it back in. And we will have a timeout on the court. Cougars, Brookdale up 27 to nothing. 13, 13 left here in the first half. So a uh, very, very rapid pace for Brookdale coming out the gate, immediately scoring 10 points in the first minute, I believe it was. We'll see if they can keep that up. I mean, they have, they're, they're, they have the ability to basically almost Switch the bench out with the starting lineup. Uh, looks like Samantha Hosey is inactive tonight. I'm not sure if, um, you know, what it might be, injury related or, or anything. Hopefully she'll be back. She's a, a great addition off the bench for them, especially from the perimeter. Guys, don't forget this year, the 17th annual Brookdale Guitar Show will be bigger and better than ever. They've moved out of the winter chill and into the spring sun, offering more clinics, a larger outdoor stage with more music, more vendors, and more fun. Sunday, April 13th, thousands of guitar freaks and music aficionados will pack the Student Life Center right here on Brookdale's main Lincroft campus. Not only looking for great deals on both new and vintage guitars, but also to scope out the day-long clinic. So don't miss out. Make your plans now to spend Sunday, April 13th at the 17th Annual Brookdale Guitar Show. For more information and to buy discounted tickets, please visit brookdaleguitarshow.com. Thirteen, thirteen left. 
first half, Brookdale 27. Lehigh Carbon gets Riggs board. Hoping to draw blood here on this possession, maybe. But Brookdale's swarming defense is, is tough to handle. I see as they take out their starting lineup. Put in the whole bench there. Oh, and they get their first show, show, shot. So 27-2, just under 13 minutes Brady remaining. Thornton. But Kimberly McNillis checked in as well as Jasmine Stanback. Victoria Hayes, the lone player on the bench. I'm sure she'll be worked in very soon. Nadia Sanislo trying to grab the pass out of bounds. Unfortunately puts it right into one of the Cougars' hands, so. Cougars passing it all around, getting, trying to get somebody open. 10 seconds left on the shot clock. Got to try to set something up, driving inside, taking the shot from three. No good, number 13, Bridget Thornton. Tight pass there inside. Very nice inside to Megan DeGruche. Finds Jasmine stand back down low. High off the backboard, and it's good. Jasmine stand back from Palma. Traveling. Blues ball. And she will get called on the travels, number 21. So the Cougars still with that same lineup that started the game in for nearing on 10 minutes here very soon. Nadia Sanislo inside, grabbing her own rebound, getting hit there third time. And they'll get called on the foul there. The 29 to 2, just under 11.30 left here in the first half. First personal, second team foul. Sonislo heads to the line for two shots. First shot just falls short. So guys, join us for your best summer ever. Brookdale's summer camp experiences will get your child hooked on subjects from auto tech, biotechnology, or even event cooking, the summer 2014 camps on campus. Brochure is available right now. You can register today or call 732-224-2823 with any questions you may have. Begins on June 23rd, so it is not too early to plan now. Nadia Sanislo made her second shot there to bring it up to a 30-2 lead. Blues ball. Will go Brookdale's way. Just over 11 minutes left in the first half. Number 21 of the Cougars did catch a break and subbed in. Number 44, Jessica Kemmler. So trying to just rotate that one player to have somebody with fresh legs at all times. Drive to the basket, no good. Rebounded by Stanback. Finding Nadia Sanislo on the break. Stops the hesitation. Very nice job there and Nadia puts up the easy shot. Cougars passing it all around the world again, just having a tough time. Ten seconds left on the shot clock, ticking down. She's got the open shot, takes it in and out. Tough there, look good coming out. Those are the ones you just wish you had back. Megan DeGroosh with the open shot from the corner. No good, rebounded by Palma, kicks it back out to DeGroosh up top to Nadia Sanislo. Finds Kimberly McNillis, who unfortunately travels, will go the Travel. other way. Cougars ball. Dweck checks back in for the Cougars. So number 12, Anja Charles checks out. Emily DeWick back in her place. Nine forty-five left here in the first half. Brookdale 32, Cougars 2. Oh, they got her inside, but passed it right back out again. 
They have no confidence on the inside game. They're really just trying to work and get a shot from the perimeter. Jasmine Palma pulls up with the shot and seems like she might have got fouled. Yep. So she will head to the line and take a pair of free throws. Fouls number five, Nina Batts. Second personal, third. So foul was on Palma Christina won. Batts, who along with one of her teammates, Bridget Thornton, got selected to the EPAC All-Conference second team. So congratulations to them. And she makes her second shot. Brookdale 34. Lehigh 2. Just under 9.30 left. Victoria Hayes checks in for Jasmine Palma. So everybody getting some minutes tonight as expected. Always good when you can get everybody a little bit of work. Keep your, keep your starters fresh for the coming games this weekend. This is where it's going to put them really to the test. The freshmen coming in not used to maybe this, uh, you know, three games in a week. Kind of a deal, so it's going to be a true test of Brookdale's resilience, their character, and jump ball. Jump ball foul Possession called there. Possession goes to Jersey Blues. Just about nine minutes left here. Brookdale 34, Lehigh 2. Jasmine Stanback puts up the shot there, bounces off the back of the rim. Rebounded by the Cougars. Taking it slow, expectedly. You know, you, you can't blame them, getting, possibly getting a little bit tired here. Some of the girls still haven't got off the court yet. Some of them might not get off the court until halftime. That may be their only break, really. And she was open for a second, but the window closed very rapidly. So it looks like a foul called on Nadia Sanislo. Fouls to number 21, Nadia Sanislo. First personal, third team foul. Gives the Cougars a fresh shot clock to work with. And just try to work the inside game and doesn't go good there. The, the size difference is what's definitely going to kill them. And Brookdale doesn't have their tallest girls out there right now, but Jasmine Stanback, definitely a physical player. Has a presence down in the paint, as well as Nadia Sanislo. Nice lay in there by number five, Bats. Christina Batts. The shot might have been hit there, a little bit altered coming out. So Kimberly McNillis will head to the line. Brooke, they left 34 to four. Seven minutes, 46 seconds left here in the first half. Paxton Reddington, Samantha Carlson headed over to the scorer's table, as well as number 12, Anja Charles from the Cougars. Reddington and Carlson check back in for Brookdale. So Sanislo and Stanback will head to the bench and take a little break. Second shot missed, but grabbed by Samantha Carlson, and there's the size that Samantha is going to be a huge Carlson. advantage over the the Cougars. As I said earlier, a 5'10 is the, the tallest one they have. Number 44. Pass it around. She's got the open three. Looked like she might have took a step up and rebounded there. And she got a, maybe got about a foot on her there, but Kimberly McNeil's driving down the court. Nice job, Paxton Reddington following the shot. Paxton putting Reddington. it in. Seven minutes left here, Brookdale 39, Lehigh four. Jasmine Palm headed over to the scorer's table. Cougars were able to find an open shot before, but they're having a little bit tougher of a time on this possession. They got one there. No good. Rebounded by Hayes. And Kimberly Benos, yep, she's got the open shot, takes it. 
Ball's a little short, but grabbed by Megan DeGroosh. Back out. Up top to Reddington. They're giving her. She had the three, chose not to take it. She was making them in warm-ups before pretty well. Uh, eight seconds left on the shot clock. Got to get back down the court. Finds inside Carlson, but just bounces off her hand. Cougars ball. Sails out of bounds. Checks back in for we'll go Brooklyn. Cougars way. Bats. Heads in for so the Cougars. Palma comes in for DeGroosh. Thirty-nine to four. Just about six minutes remaining here in the first half. Takes a shot. No good there. Rebounded by Carlson. Over to Hayes. As he was last touched Blue by the ball. Cougars, so we'll stay down here. Finds Carlson. He can just toss the ball up and she'll be able to grab it. 41 to 4. Five minutes, 40 seconds remaining in the first half. So everybody, don't forget again. Oh, double dribble call there. Double dribble don't forget again, Thursday and Saturday is when the action is really going to start to kick off. We will have a huge day here. Eight games total. We will be televising four here in the arena. The other four will be in the B-Rec where we had our last regular season game due to some uh, shot clock troubles that were fixed. Samantha Carlson called on a travel there. Lauren Bowler will come in for Kimberly McNilla. So join us right here on Brookdale TV. We will also have the stream up as well. It will be on Brookdale's website, brookdalecc.edu, and as well on njcaa.com slash TV. Every game that right here in the Collins Arena will be televised. Come on down if you can, because I'll tell you what, it's going to be a great day of basketball. Got both men's and women's all day. Semifinals on Thursday and the championship games on Saturday. So I wouldn't miss it if I were you. Blocked there by Samantha Carlson as shot clock runs down anyway. We should stop that awful noise. Thank you very much. Blues ball. Four minutes, 41 seconds left. Brookdale ball up 41 to four. Immediately inside to Samantha Carlson, grabbing her own rebound, putting it back up. No good. Cougars going all around. Got the open three, takes it. No good, grabbed by Carlson. Finds Hayes all the way down at the end of the court. Window closed up right inside to Carlson. Got hit from behind, and we'll see if. Yes, yeah, so, yep. Does call it on number 21. I believe that is Emily Dweck. 21, Dweck. Emily Dweck. Dweck, First yes. Personal, fifth, team foul. Carlson has the Wrong number on my roster shots. here, but Carlson will head over the line. Misses the first shot. Brookdale still up 41 to 4. Just over four minutes remaining in the first half. And this is the second one as well. Post charge number 15. Paxton so Paxton Reggson picks up her second foul. Second personal, four. Team yeah, foul. she'll probably be heading out for the first half as we have Luki and Av and Maria Trapp waiting to come in to finish out the first half. I stepped out of bounds there, so Blues ball. job on the Trapp. defense by Reddington before she checks ball. out, Check along with Carlson. Didn't think I would be able to talk about it again because by the time we came back on Thursday, it would have been done, but guys, there are still pre-sale tickets available. Sweating for the shore, 
Come on down to club here on Wednesday, February 26, and feed families through fitness. It's a, an event hosted by Samantha Levy to raise money and awareness for the ongoing hardships along the Jersey Shore. It's going to be an hour and a half long Zumba class, so come on down and dance. Doors open at 6 p.m. Event starts off at 7 p.m. $15 pre-sale tickets, also $20 at the door if you can't grab a ticket beforehand. Any other additional donations or sponsors are appreciated. Some surprises in store. We have, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of sponsors coming out with Home Depot, Retro Fitness, everybody throwing a hand in to help out. Going to have some fun stuff going on there. Let's come on down to Club here. It's 1970 Route 35 in Sayreville, New Jersey. You can email SamanthaZumba18 at gmail.com for any additional details, or if you want to grab yourself a pre-sale ticket, also, also head over to 90.5thenight.org, navigate to the events page, and you'll see all the information there as well. So Brookdale 43 and Lehigh 4. Two minutes, 45 seconds left here in the first half. Ooh, Palma going in for kill there, gets uh, called on the foul. Foul's number 12, Jasmine Palma. That's her first personal, Brookdale's fifth team foul of the half. So for those possibly just tuning in before the half, just the women's tonight, the men's will be televised tomorrow, 7 p.m., same time. I will not be able to make it, but Deron Curry will be here. He joined me a couple weeks back for the last regular season game. It was a pleasure having him here. I know he'll do a great job, brother of men's basketball, Tyrone Curry. So tune in tomorrow here at 7 p.m. They will be facing off against Northampton, the number nine seed. Brookdale, of course, coming in at number one with a phenomenal season. It's 26 and one as Lauren Bowler lays it in very nice there. Good to see her back on the court for the Blues. She brings just a, every facet of her game is, is very helpful. Just under two minutes, Brookdale 45, Cougars four. I know the Cougars are just waiting for that buzzer to go off so some of them can get a rest. They haven't had a chance to sit down since the game started. A few of them, as the shot clock goes down there, you can see it's starting Second to be evident there. Lose ball. And Brookdale able to just in rotate in whenever they please. Embarrassment of riches there on the bench as they have. Anybody can come in and contribute very well. Minute and a half left. Brookdale has possession. All around inside to trap. Oh, ball goes all around, winds up in the hands of Sanislo. Hayes with the three, open shot, takes it, no good. Ooh, almost rebounded by her, she went down awkward, but gets right back up. Cougars ball. Stand, Stand back, back coming back in. in for Brookdale. For trap. And McNillis, McNillis heads in for, for Palma. Just over a minute, Brookdale 45, Lehigh 4. The Cougars having a tough time finding the inside game. Been taking a lot of shots from right around the three-point line, from behind the three-point line as Hayes drives down. Quick turnaround jumper there, doesn't land, stand back, grab it, put it back up, no good, winds up in the hands number 13, Bridget Thornton. We're ticking down here. Shot blocked there, Nadia Sanislo with her second block shot of the game, shot clock is turned off. Kimberly McNillis driving down. Gets called on the travel. Cougars ball. A 16 seconds here in the game. I'm sorry, in the half, 45 to four, Brookdale up. And it looks like Victoria Hayes will maybe hit at the last shot and Buzzer went off, so no shot there, but 
Join us back Let's here. We'll be back in about 15 down. minutes or so. Brookdale, Brookdale up 45 to 4. four. Join us back here in a few. Pat Grothier here for Brookdale TV. If you're just joining us, Brookdale is up 45 to 4 against the 8 seed Lehigh Carbon Cougars. Jasmine Palm with the immediate steal. Back down on the other side of the court. No good, but DeGroosh grabs it and lays it in. Megan D. Gross. Brookdale grabbing the one seed, as expected, with a great season, 26 and 2. Still on that big win streak. Came right out of the gate with the first half. Very, very fast-paced offense. Playing full court defense for the first couple minutes, wearing down this very, very light Cougars career of only six players, something that for whatever reason is a very welcome sight here in the Collins Arena. Most of the teams that Brookdale's played has had anywhere from six to eight players. It's a nice shot there, put up by number 21, Emily, Emily Dwick. Dwick. Brookdale up right now, 47 to six. Inside to Maria Trapp, lays it in. Maria Trapp. So there will be no men's game after this. They will play tomorrow night, same time, 7 p.m., against Northampton, who is the nine seed. Of course, men coming in at the one seed. Pass grab there by Megan DeGroosh, finding Jasmine Palmer driving down. She's got DeGroosh right back to her, lays it in. 18.30 left, Brookdale 51, Lehigh Carbon 6. Having a tough time getting anything done offensively in the first half. Only scoring four points. A lot of shots put up from around the perimeter, around the three-point line, just a couple steps above it. Couldn't get much inside game working at all. Having a, definitely a shorter crew as you see another three put up there. Well, so she saved it there. Threw it off of Cougars Nadia ball. Sanislo, so we'll stay on this side of the court. But the, have a little discussion here. Referee headed over to the table. One second left on the shot clocks. So maybe that's what's that about resetting it or putting more time, putting two seconds now. So quick shot. They got to grab it and put it up almost immediately. We'll see if they can get it done. Tried to just throw up the shot. No shot good. Clock violation. Blues ball. So it'll be Brookdale's ball. Looks like some of the starters may be out for the rest of the game here. Paxson Reddington grabbed herself a couple of fouls, so. But it looks like Lauren Bowler, Samantha Carlson, who are joining back from being Thousand out for a couple of weeks. Emily Dweck. Still uh, don't have their warm-ups on or anything, so maybe we'll see a little bit more of them the rest of the game here. They got Palma all alone up top, passes it to her, wide open three, takes it. Bounces just off the front of the rim, no good. 17-35 left, Brookdale 51, Cougars 6. Throwing up the three, in and out. Rebounded by Trapp, over to Lukianov. Brookdale not in much of a rush on this one here, probably trying to take as much time off the shot clock and just put this one in the books. Don't want any unnecessary injuries, anything like that. As Palma puts in a nice shot there, it was good looking coming out. 17 minutes left, Brookdale 53, Cougars six. Three minutes into the final half of play. Oh, Aaron pass there, grabbed by Luki and off. She's got Palma to right two on two situations. Got some more Brookdale players behind her, but ball. ball got poked out. We'll stay on this side of the court. Give the Cougars a chance to get all their players down here, try to put up a defensive front. Up top there, looking like it was kind of in between the Grusian trap. They didn't know which one it was going for. Grabbed by number five, Christina Batts, and goes 
Betts. All the way to the other side and lays it in. Excited about that one. Cougars getting a little wind here. Two nice plays. 1635. Trying to break the get into double digits here. Back to Palma. Hesitation shot there. Drives in over to Trap. Who's she was in earlier a couple minutes, had a nice job. Marino. Lukey and I'm just Marino. making it look easy. Sixteen minutes left here. Samantha Carlson waiting to check in at the next time. As well as Jasmine Stanback heading over. They had some open, they got some open shooters. Takes the inside, goes off the side of the backboard there. Another shot clock violation. Oh, ball almost grabbed there by Palma. Is being tipped by number 12. On just, or I'm sorry, number 13, Bridget Thornton, but she grabs possession. And Luki and I with the steal there, driving down the court, laying it in for the easy basket. Marina, Luki and I. So we'll have Reddington and Bowler joining Standback and Carlson. Do almost a whole lineup switch. We'll see who they keep in, possibly Trap or Luki and Av. We'll see. Well, Coach Bob Dabin has got hooked up, Traveling. got cooked up as Cougars travel there. I know, so McNillis is coming in as well, so whole lineup change. Fresh legs coming in after the first five minutes of the last half. So looking ahead to round two, we have Middlesex and Northampton facing off right now, so we'll have the results to that game either sometime later tonight or tomorrow whenever they... They update everything. As always, keep it tuned to 90.5 tonight. All day, you know, commercial free music there, as well as hearing all the latest Brookdale sports news, all the local news, weather traffic. We'll be keeping that updated. I'll be in the booth tomorrow updating the sports support, so that'll be running. We'll here with the situation will be for Brookdale as Carlson gets the N1 opportunity here to make it 60 if she gets the free throw. So we'll see, looking at Brookdale's schedule of past games, I have it here. They faced Middlesex back in December at Middlesex. They beat them 63 to 51. And then just at earlier in the month here at home, they beat Middlesex 71 to 53 and Northampton they also beat towards the end of January here at home, 72 to 50. That was the only time they faced in the season. So of the two opponents that they faced, uh, they've won every time and with pretty decent um, margins of victory as well. Shot clock reset as you heard yelling one of the coaches on the sideline. Reddington in the corner, wide open for the three. Just falls out, almost rebounded by Stanback. And it is rebounded by Stanback. Foot race now between Bowler, but McNillis grabs it back over to Reddington. Slowing it up a little bit. 20 seconds left. McNillis. Shot was a little short. Looked strange coming out. There's a long Brookdale offensive possession there. She bounces the ball out of bounds and Loose ball. we'll head the other way. Yeah, I mean you can't. It, it, you kind of know the position you're in at this point when you're when you're Lee High Carbon. You know, you try to keep it as politically correct as possible, but everybody can see the scoreboard at 59 to 8. But they've, they've had smiles on their faces the whole game. They're, they're not, you know, very good sports. They're not getting, you know, frustrated. It's not turning into one of those very chippy games. So definitely hats off to them. Sticking in it. They're not giving up at all. And they're having a good time out there on the court. Trying to find somebody open around the perimeter. A couple steps behind the three-point line. No good. Brookdale grabs possession, heading down the court, 13 minutes remaining. I'll tell you, Bowler and Carlson coming back for this game. I don't know if they were in um, the last game against Passaic. I'm not sure. 
Um, they beat Passaic at, at the uh, their final regular season game, 85 to 69. But they look like they haven't missed a beat since they've uh, since they've been out. So, <coughs> excuse me, I've uh, running on fumes here. Voice is starting to go. I've been here since 8 a.m. with classes, so you'll have to excuse me. But Thursday will be here in full force as well as Saturday for the championship day. Carlson misses her second free throw there. We'll have everybody joining us. So Thursday, I believe we will have most guy, most of the guys here who you've seen. Gus and Sean, I believe. I'm not sure which day. I know Sean or, or Gus can't make it one of the days. But uh, we'll have <clears throat> one of our BTV cameramen, Tim, is going to be giving it a shot for a game or two. We'll have an old familiar Just face from those who watched last season. I believe he'll be joining us, Dennis, who was Mid Gus's course. partner last season. So definitely join us then. This is Comcast Channel 21, Verizon Files Channel 46. If you're watching it, you know the channel. Also, streaming live all day will be here. Every game, whether it's Brookdale or not, you'll be able to watch it. So njcaa.com slash TV or brookdalecc.edu. On the homepage, they usually put it up and... Emily. Cougars 12. break double digits, so Brookdale up 61 to 10. Just under 12 minutes remaining here in the first half. Oh, I'm sorry, in the second half, final half. Stand back, putting in the easy bucket Stand there. Back. This has been a huge problem for the Cougars, is getting this inside game working. Every time they even try to get in there, Carlson, Trapp, Santos, or whoever's down low, it's just making it impossible. Kevin McMillis Mills. driving down for another easy Brookdale basket. We'll have a timeout on the court. Cougars. Everybody, Brookdale's spring open house. Don't miss it. It's scheduled for Sunday, April 6th, hey, starting at noon until 3 p.m. Right here in the very same arena you're watching the basketball games played in. A lot more events are hosted here than just basketball. Come down and meet Brookdale's faculty members. Find out which programs are right for you. Your success can start right here at Brookdale. Existing students, priority registration passes are being emailed out. The only reason I know that is because I got mine a couple days ago. So get down there on the day that you can. It's for summer and spring classes. Get registered early, it's the best way to do it. Any spring graduates, you must submit your candidacy for graduation form to a counselor advisor for approval by February 28th. So, dates closing up quick. Commencement ceremonies will be held on May 16th. So, watch your Brookdale email for any information regarding the countdown to graduation events planned in early April. We're just about done with February here. This month came and went very rapidly. February 24th today, so. Start getting everything done. Let me see your body shaking it from the bottom of the top. As I said earlier, if you guys maybe just tuning in, women tonight, men tomorrow, so facing off against Northampton. Both Brookdale teams are the one seed. So definitely a big round of applause there for both of them, having a phenomenal season, both with 26 wins, the men's having the one loss and the women two losses. Pass around the three goes up and it's good. Number 13, Bridget Thornton. For three. 11 minutes remaining here in the game. Brookdale up 65 to 13. Right inside to stand back. Grabs her own shot, puts it back up again and it's good. Jasma, stand back. <laughs> Cougars working the ball all around, trying to maybe get another open three shot like they had before. Driving in. And it looks like a foul called on Carlson, possibly. Foul's number five, Samantha Carlson. First personal, first team foul. 
So Samantha Carlson called on a foul against number five, Christina Batts. She'll take a pair of free throws. We have, uh, looks like Trapp, Nadia Sanislow, Marina Lukianov, and Megan Negrush coming into the game. Sanislow, Lukianov, and Degrush checks in for Brookdale. 10-21 left, Brookdale up 67 to 14. Made her first shot there, we'll see if she can make the second to bring it up to 15. No good, rebounded by Trapp. Cougars catching a little bit of a second wind here. Scoring 10 points in the, in the second half against Jersey Blues. But Coach Bob is not sitting his starters down for the whole second half. Got to, uh, there's a nice lay in there by Nadia Sanislo as she gets hit as well. But it's a good move. I, I, I agree with what he's doing by, you know, not keeping his starters out for the whole game. You know, they're going to have to get used to this. You, you don't want to get them used to sitting on the bench for most of the time. They're going to be facing some tough opponents here in the region in the next couple games, and as well as if they, they keep advancing to the Nationals. Working in the bench is always something that's great, so it's good that he has the opportunity to do it. Unfortunate circumstances happen and some of your starters, anything happens there, you always want a solid bench and that he does have. Getting swarmed on the inside, it's been happening all night to the Cougars, taking another outside shot off the rim, rebounded by Sanislo. Nine and a half minutes left, Brookdale 70. Cougars 14. Right inside to Nadia Sanislo, and it's good. Nadia from Lukianov. Sanislo, assisted by Lukianov. Brookdale trying to break the century mark here. Teams always love doing it. They have, I believe they've done it at least once this season. Oh, no, they haven't. Wow. They came very close. Against, that's right, the Gloucester game, they were 99. They almost got 100. That was the game here mid-January. Hayes back up to DeGruche, over to Luki and Av. Oh, pump fake pass there, got Hayes wide open for the three, takes it. Good. 75-14, 18 and a half minutes, I'm sorry, eight and a half minutes left here in the game. So over to Charlie, back up top. Bats driving in. Got bumped by Trap there, so foul called against her. Brickdale doing a good job in the second half, really staying out of foul trouble for the most part. They didn't have many in the first half either, so. So a couple games here, not many, but uh, yeah, here and there, they, they've struggled with fouls. But they're doing a very good job this game. Makes her first shot. And she makes her second. He's bringing it down up to DeGruche. Eight minutes left here in the game. Brookdale up 75, 16, inside to trap, puts it up off the bottom of the backboard, but Sanislow following the shot in, nice job. Nadia, Sanislow. Getting herself a couple baskets, pair of blocks early in the first half. Cougars passing it all around. It's seems like the trend of the night here is a lot of outside shots. There's another there from Bats and no good. Grabbed by Brookdale. Marina Lukianov driving down. She looks like she might have poked the ball out last. Loose ball. Okay, no, so ref saw it differently from my view up here. Leader checks back in we will stay Lehigh on this Carbon. side of the court. Seven and a half minutes left. Brookdale 77. Lehigh Carbon 16. I could be saying that wrong the whole time. I have no idea. Is it Lehigh? Does anybody know up here? Nobody's listening to me. I'm all alone up here, basically. I got cameraman, I got Brian. 
on the sound and trap putting it in. Maria, trap. Anybody just joining us here on Brookdale TV? Back row through here. We uh, a little bit of a short crew tonight. Last minute notice on this game. We were able to put together a patchwork crew for you so you guys can watch it at home on the stream and everywhere. Bridget. So you're welcome. Palm headed over to the table. Up to Gruz, got the open shot, not taking it. Over to Luki and Av. Inside to Trap. Just a powerhouse down in the paint. Can't stop her when she's down there. She's going to prove very, very tough to deal with. Going deep into the region, into the Nationals is what the hopes is for. Put up a banner right next to the men's. Men's maybe grabbing another banner. Came here a little bit earlier today. Got to see the last of their practice. Here, head coach Paul Cheese, Zach yelling his head off. It was great. 16 and, I'm sorry, I keep doing that. Six and a half minutes remaining here in the game. Brookdale 81. Lehigh Carbon Community College Cougars 18. That's a mouthful. A lot of season, a lot of alliteration there. The Carbon Community College Cougars. And Trav Maria. with the three. For three. Just over 16, six, I, again, I, I apologize everybody, I'm running on fumes. Six minutes, six minutes. As Trav puts up the three there, getting a standing ovation from her teammates on the bench. Oh, Palm with the steal, driving down the court. Somebody to her right, but that second one she missed there, but grabbed by DeGruish right over to Trap. Maria. She's got to have Trap. over 15 points by now is, is, is my guess. Haven't been keeping track. It'd be nice to have some live stats up here, but this isn't a NBA TNT production here, so we're doing the best we can. Five and a half minutes remaining. Brookdale 86. The Cougars, 18. I didn't say 15 that time, so you guys should be proud of me. Another shot clock violation. Turnover. Blues ball. Stay and I tell you one thing, if I didn't do the radio show here on Brookdale Student Heads Radio, I'd probably be struggling mightily doing this all alone, but I'm, I'm used to talking to myself with a microphone in front of my face. It's not something everybody can do, and it's tough, but... For those who couldn't make it to the game, or glad to do it for you. We try to get here Thursday and Saturday. I'm telling you, the Region 19 tournament semifinals and the finals here at the Collins Arena all day will be here. First game starts at 1 p.m. on Thursday, and on Friday, I believe it's around the same time. I'm sorry, on Saturday, Saturday. Thursday's 1 p.m. Saturday, I believe it's around the same time. Number 21. I haven't seen Emily the schedule for that. I only saw it for Thursday, Fourth but. Personal. You can, as Team always, five. visit brookdalecc.edu or region19.org. That's where I get all my information for the latest on Brookdale Athletics. Nadia Sanislo sinks her first and sinks her second. So 88-18. Well, we got some time. Wasn't uh, expecting to be able to talk about this again. Thought we were going to come back on Thursday, but we got surprised with this game. So, everybody come join us. I'll be there myself Wednesday, February 26th at Club Beer, 1970 Route 35 in Sayreville. Sweating for the shorts. A Zuma class dance event hosted by a good friend of mine, Samantha Levy, to raise money and awareness for the ongoing hardships along the Jersey Shore. A lot of people still struggling very mightily. People don't even, I didn't even realize until I started to hear some of the stories from her and her family. I only know experiences from people in my life, friends who, you know, have, have been fortunate enough with um, FEMA insurance companies to get some, you know, some of the, some of the money back and, and start to, to rebuild everything. But a lot of people are still heavily relying on the, the help of others. Spoonful of Hope, Gateway Church of Christ, through the sponsors for this event, Sweating for the Shore. Like I said, Wednesday, February 26th at Club Pure. It's located at 1970 Route 35 in Sayreville. It's an hour and a half class. Doors open at 6. We're just going to be kind of hanging out and chatting. Everything's starting off at 7 p.m. It's $15 pre-sale tickets, $20 at the door. Also, any other donations are accepted and welcomed. If you can, 100% of the proceeds will be donated. They're not taking a dime, the family. So every single penny they already got 
well over 100 people coming last time I talked to her. And, and if anything, it's just to go there just to see me dance. I mean, that's just going to be the funniest part of the whole thing because I don't dance one bit. So just come down for that alone. Shot clock violation there. You can email samanthazumba18 at gmail.com. You can also visit 90.5thenight.org. Head over to the events page, and you'll see it there. You can get all the information. Come down for a good calls. So 88-18 still, three and a half minutes left. I'm sure they want to get that 100 points. They always want to. Oh. Travel called on stand back there. She was trying to bounce it off of number 44, Jessica Kemmler. She put a little bit of a bullet into her chest there. <laughs> Three and a half minutes left. That's it. That's it. You don't see many teams come through here whenever we're having the games. Everybody's really got big smiles on their faces, even when the score is, you know, such it is right now, 88-18. So very good sportsmanship here. Everybody kind of knows where they're at. And once, once, you know, you, it, it's tough to, to bring a, 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 a team with six players to bring it into the region. So to even get here at an eight seed, big hats off to, to the Cougars. They're coming out of the, the EPAC conference, so a lot of them coming from Pennsylvania, Allentown, Albrightsville, Center Cougars Valley, place that I've never heard of. Cougars ball. Just under three minutes left. 88-18 in favor of the Jersey Blues. Shot clock running down. Got to get a shot up. Two seconds, and it's up, and it's good. Is that a three? Oh, it was a two. Okay. That was a little out of my view. Right down to Hayes. They got Palma on the other side. Yeah, she was trying to find her. Blues ball. It was tough to squeeze that one in there. Got tapped by number five, Christina Batts. Her and her teammate, number 13, Bridget Thornton, were announced to the EPAC all-conference second team. As you see, I had some time to kill before the game today, so a lot of papers printed out, a lot of stats and everything. I knew it was going to be alone today, so try to have as much filler as possible so you guys aren't hearing dead noise all the time as Palma puts up a nice shot there. They're just 10 points shy. Two minutes left. They can break 100. They can get it for the first time in the season, albeit the postseason, but still it'll count. They were one point away against Gloucester. Uh, in the middle of January when we were here covering the game, Brookdale TV. It's under two minutes. Cougars passing the ball all around. I feel like I've said that way too much. Putting up the three. No good. Grab by Jasmine Palma. Minute 40 left. I'll remind you one more time just in case you forgot, but I doubt you did because I've said it way too much. But we'll say it again. Kimberly McNillis with the three. Kimberly But Region 19, guys, Thursday, Saturday, all day we'll be here. Join us at the Collins Arena or join us on Brookdale TV. Comcast Channel 21, Files 46. If you're outside of the area, it will be streaming on Brookdale's website, brookdalecc.edu, or on the njcaa.com, njcaa.com slash TV. I think you can also just go to njcaatv.com. Search it. You'll find it. You'll get redirected to it. We'll be televising every game, whether it's Brookdale or not. We'll be calling every game, whether it's Brookdale or not. Have a lot of different guys coming in both days. Saturday's championship day. That's that's where the fun. That's where the fun happens. But you got to win on Thursday to get there to Saturday. So watch both days. Minute left. Brookdale 93. Cougars 20. My throat is just about done for the day. This game is just about done for the day. Kimberly McNeil is throwing up a shot. Rebounded by Palma, put back up by Hayes. No good. So it looks like they might not get to 100 unless a crazy swing of events happens here. But, I mean, a 73-point victory, you can't. You can't. You got to hang your hat on that. Thirty seconds left. Five seconds left on the shot clock. Got to get something off. Grabbed by Brookdale. Kimberly McNellis 
Slowing it up a little bit. Yep, basically just kind of run it out here. Coach Bob is telling him, get back, get back. <laughs> 12 seconds. Hold the ball. Coach Bob knows what to do. So they listen. Round of applause here as Brookdale women's number one seed wins against the number eight seed Lehigh Carbon Community College Cougars. They will face the winner of Middlesex and Northampton here on Thursday. If they win then, then they will advance to championship Saturday. So tomorrow night, 7 p.m., I will not be here, but Deron Curry will be. He was with me a couple weeks ago. So tune in tomorrow, Brookdale TV, when the men's team number one seed faces off against Northampton. Thank you for joining us. Pat Grothier signing off from Brookdale TV.